Hi, this is Jay from Jay's Beer Review, and you're watching another episode of Chad's Beer Review. That is one sexy bitch. Whether it's a lager or an ale, whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale, if you can brew it, Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Review. Tasting beer for sure. You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bone of my dear night. So whether it's a porter or an IPA, whether it's from Europe or the USA, if you can brew it, Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to a very special episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Get a tie on today because I'm drinking what I've been told is a really good beer. This is Hop Slam Ale by Bell's Brewery out of Michigan. This was sent to me by uh, Meredith and Greg over at uh, Guy Girl Reviews. We did a beer trade. The reason this beer is so special is, well, Mark Starr over at the Hoppery gave this a 100 out of 100. And, you know, I really respect his opinion. And I think he makes like really great beer reviews videos, and I, he he def I think he knows beer a lot better than I do. So if he's saying this is like a perfect beer, then I'm gonna kind of go all out here. Um, this is a double IPA. It's 10% alcohol by volume. The only description it says is a biting, bitter tongue bruiser of an ale. With a name like Hop Slam, what did you expect? Um, that's pretty much it. I checked the website and I didn't see anything on there about what kind of malts and hops they use. So I'm going into this kind of blind. And just like Mark, I'm going to use a tulip glass today because I know he's all about the tulip glass. Um, I'm going to save this cap. I nice job of saving it. Well, I could smell it as soon as I opened it. This looks like apple juice. Ooh, very potent. Potent, I can smell it already. That's a like a orange hazy body, very very cloudy. Can't see through it at all. That's typical of like a double IPA. They tend to be cloudy. A lot of the single ones tend to be filtered. Surprised I didn't get much head on there. I thought it'd be a little bit bigger than that, but... You know, it's like a pinky or so. It's off-white, kind of foamy. Mmm, very... As Mark said, clean hops. It's like a juicy aroma. It's like that West Coast style. I mean, this smells like straight-up grapefruit or tropical fruit juice. Uh, it's just, this smells great. Very, very citrusy. This seems like more like a West Coast IPA than an East Coast. So, uh, let's see how it tastes. Um, yeah, it's just like as soon as it hits you, um, you're getting that nice grapefruity hop, hop citrus, like that tartness. And you're getting like that real rich, malty sweetness on the finish. Little bit of a warming effect, even for a beer as cold as it is right now. I'm guessing this has got to be in the low 40s. As I'm drinking, I'm getting more of like a kind of a piney, piney resiny hop on the back end. It still has that great grapefruit, tropical fruit juice smell. It's regenerating the head pretty well. Very smooth beer. It's bitter, but it's a little dry. But I, I guess that's, you know, kind of the point. I'm actually going to let this warm up for a little bit because I can just, I can like taste almost like ice crystals in it as I'm drinking this. I'm going to let this sit out for a few minutes and uh, we'll come back with my final word. Oh hey, I'm back. Took like a good 10, 15 minute break. Uh, yeah, th there's definitely a significant change and improvement in the in the flavor. This thing was just way too cold, but you know, as much flavor as I got when it was ice cold, I'm getting it more now that it's like 
at the appropriate temperature. It's nice. It's like up front you're getting this really juicy, kind of citrusy, tropical notes. I'm getting, you know, it's not just grapefruit, but it's almost kind of like an orange or tangerine. And then it's following with a sticky pine. It's like, it's thick and it's like, leaves a, a it's a strong bitterness. I, I don't know what the IBUs is for this beer. I'm guessing it's probably in the 70s, maybe 80s. Um, yeah, so, it, but it's, you know, it's it's very bitter, but it's not like anything that you can't handle. You know, a lot of people don't like those bitter beers because, I mean, we just don't associate bitter with being good, but, you know, in this case it's good. And I like this beer, it regenerates the head nice and easy. It's actually not that heavy in the mouth. It feels a little bit thinner than I would expect. I mean, I just drank uh, the Terrapin Hop Secutioner today, and that felt thicker and heavier in the mouth than this does, and this is, uh, you know, 10% ABV. You are getting a significant warming on the, on the finish, on the way down. The booze isn't really there. It's, like, you can't smell it, and you really can't taste it other than just, like, a little bit of heat. Maybe not even heat, just like warmth. The hops, I'm surprised, don't really linger here. Like there's a slight bit of like a, like a little bit of like a bready, kind of dry honey, uh, like a slightly malty aftertaste. But it doesn't linger. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I'm not sh quite sure that I'm liking it as much as the people out in the Midwest have been raving about it, right? Just watched uh, Greg and Meredith and 815 Socks and of course uh, the Grand Old Hoppery and they all they all love this beer. They say it's one of the best beers they ever had. I can't honestly say that. Um, but to give the beer the credit of the doubt, it's been you know it's been shipped, so I don't know if that would have any effect on it. It could have been it, you know in the belly of a plane and it froze and then defrosted and then refroze. Who knows? You know this was sitting on my porch. And I put it in the fridge to actually warm it up. Um, so, I mean, I think if I had this very fresh, um, it, this would probably be a 10. But as of right now, I think this is more of a 9. It's nice and drinkable. You don't, like, I, you don't notice that 10% ABV at all. Other than just, like, a little bit of warmth on the finish. And, uh, you know, I'm noticing it somewhere in a tie. And it's uh, rather tight because I gained some weight since I had this shirt measured. But anyways, you know, Hop Slam Mail by Bills. I like it. I like it a lot, but, you know, it's not the best IPA I've ever had. Um, and it's a kind of a nice hybrid of the East and West Coast styles of that, that citrus and pine. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10 to Hop Slam Mail. I think it's a, I think it's an excellent beer. To me, it's just as of this drinking, it's not quite up there with the best. Anyways, the thanks to Greg and Meredith over at Guy Girl Reviews for sending me this, and we got three more of the Bell's uh, beers coming up. So uh, stick around for that, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>